so the previous uh, class is my voice audible hello is my voice audible everyone yes sir okay in the previous class i asked you to do few ilt problems right the first yes, answer is what a madura you you yeah first answer is correct option d for this thing that will solve because see here second question you have set right and the third question uh, the bending moment is m which is correct then what was the last, last question you didn't solve right yes sir beam pq as shown in figure a truck having 100 kN on front of axle to on the rear axle spacing between the axle is the maximum bending moment at point r so how do you do that you have do, uh, done a design of this thing right plate girders yes sir Uh, in that plate girders, what is the equation for maximum bending moment due to moving loads, Madhura? How do you do it? D section should cut the. Remember close. you remember solving uh, this thing design of uh, crane girders crane or plate girders design of steel structures 7sm or 8sm 7sm ah uh, 7sm in that uh, plate girders did you not do it yes sir we did oh uh, how do you do it if you uh... have to What is that? Mm -hmm. Leading axle is how much? Two hundred, is it? Yes, sir. And rear axle is? Hundred kilometer. And what is he asking at a section? What? Which? The maximum bending moment at point R is okay. R is at a distance of one meter and four meter, right? Okay. One second. now there is a section at the distance of 1 meter and 4 meter correct let me say this is a and this is b this a by b must be equal to this thing what is the distance between two loads 200 kilo newton is the front axle and rear axle is 100 kN the distance between them is 3 meters this section xx should be equal to a dash b dash you remember this no what is a 1 by 4 is equal to a dash by b dash So a dash should be one. B four. dash four, correct. So yes. a dash is how much? A plus b is three. A dash plus b dash is three. Three meters, correct? Yes. Ah, uh, b dash by four plus b dash must be equal to three. So that will be how much, ma? Five by four. Twelve by five, correct? 
5 by 4, you simplify, it will be 12 by 5, correct? Or how much? How much is 12 by 5? 2.4. 2. 2.4. 2. Yes. Correct? 2.4. A dash will obviously be 0. 0.6. Correct? Yes. So you have to place the load such that this load should be at a distance of A should be at a distance of 100 should be at a distance of how much? Madhura. This distance should be 0. 0.6 and this distance should be Two point. Now you, you are recollecting. Yes. Now you have to. You you know how to uh, draw the this thing right? ILD for this uh, bending moment at section R. A B by L. Correct. Yes. Uh, you just place the loads and find out the bending moment. That's it. Simple. Can we do it? Yes. The, see here, remember the rule. This section should cut the loads in the same proportion as the section cuts the beam. Same proportions. See here. Then only you will get maximum bending moment. I think you remember this. Now at least. They did it or not in your college? This. Just answer if you. If they are done, they have done. If they haven't done, they haven't done. What's that? A, B by L, correct? Yes. This ordinate. What is A, B? 4 by 5. What is 4 by 5? Point 0.8. Eight. Yes. So if it is point 0.8, then you have to use law of similar triangles to find out You remember AB by L, right? Yes, sir. Okay, good. That is pointed. What is this distance? Two point. point. Correct? And yes, this sir. distance is how much? Four. So this distance should be how much? Four One minus. Point. Correct? Yes. Point eight. So <laughs> this distance is zero point six. Correct? So this yes. distance should be point four. Not to this scale, please. Okay. So let me say this is y1, this is y2. Then what do we get? 0 0.8 by 4 must be equal to y1 by 1.6. Then 0 0.8 by 1 must be equal to y2 by 0 0.4. Do you agree? Yes, sir. 
y1 will be Point two into one point six. Point zero three two. Yeah, zero point three two and y two will be thirty two point three two. Correct. Yes. Sir. Oh, point three two point three zero. See, you got the same ordinates. That is why it is called proportional. Correct. Yes. Sir. So you have multiply hundred into bending moment. Point. Yeah, good. Hundred into point three two plus two hundred into point three. That will be thirty two plus sixty four ninety six. six. Okay, the answer is not here, but the answer should be ninety six only. That is how you do for rolling loads, because you need to have uh, this thing, right? What you say? Equal proportions. This for maximum bending moment. If you if you place the two hundred, if you place the two hundred above this. Then this hundred will go very far away, and that ordinate will reduce. Okay. See. Let's check. Uh, if I place two hundred here, what is the distance? Three meters, right? Yes. Is in here. If I place the two hundred here, the hundred kilonewton will be out of the beam. Correct. Yes, sir. So. So the maximum bending moment should be you found out like this only. I think some issue with the options. Okay. Yes. Again, if you place this thing. If you want to place hundred, you 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 can either place this two hundred here, then the hundred will be outside the beam. If you place hundred here, then two hundred will be very low. Correct? Yes, sir. So this is the right way, and I think there is some issue with the options. Ninety six is the right answer. Anything? Any other doubts in ILD? Yes. Okay, this is how you do for maximum bending moment. The section should divide the loads in the same proportion as it divides the beam. Okay, you remember this. Yes. Oh, then what do you do for maximum shear force? Maximum bending moment. This is the equation. Maximum shear force. What will you do? Hmm? Maximum shear force simple. What is the ILD for shear force? Support reactions, correct? Yes, sir. So uh, you have to place the two hundred kilonewton here and see. If you place two hundred kilonewton here, then hundred will be out of the beam. So you place two hundred kilonewton here. Hundred kilonewton will be here. Then you draw what is the ILD for shear force at the uh, what is the B? That is nothing but reaction at B. Correct. Yes, sir. Very shear for maximum at the reaction. So you draw the ILD. What is the value one? Correct. Yes. You place two hundred here, and you place hundred at a distance of three meters, and see what is the shear force. That's it.
Okay. This is case one. Case one of checking maximum bending moment. There is another case. Let's uh, try in that way also and see if the option fits. Okay. There are two cases. Case one, dividing the loads, and there is case two, which I'll teach you now. Okay, na? Case two. What is case two? In this, what you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to find out what is the resultant of these two forces: hundred kilonewton and two hundred. Two hundred kilonewton. This will have resultant of how much? Three hundred, right? Yes, sir. So this is our resultant. Well, we don't know what is the distance where it will be acting. So if it is x, this will be how much? Three minus six, correct? Because the distance is three meters. Let me consider this as point P. Moment about point P is zero. To find out x, I am doing. Okay, R into x must be equal to two hundred into three. Correct. So yes. what is x? Two hundred three by R. R is how much? Three hundred. Hmm. X is how much? Two meters. Two meters. Okay, case two. No, da na inga la. This is how much three hundred, right? Yes, sir. Two meters. So this will be how much? One meter. Mm -hmm. Now the second case is we have divided the this thing, right? What is that? The entire length of three meters in the proportion equal to the beam's proportion. Now what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to divide the section such that. This let me say this is a double dash, and this is b double dash. Between the heavy load and resultant, please remember between heavy load and resultant. A double dash by B double dash must be equal to A by B. A by B. This thing four by one. Yes. Correct. A is how much ma? One. Correct. B is one. B is how much? Correct. So A double dash is equal to B double dash by four. Huh? What is this distance? A plus A dash, A double dash plus B double dash is nothing but one meter. Correct? That is equal to by B double dash by four. Correct? If I substitute for A. Yes, sir. <coughs> What is B double dash? Four by five. That is nothing but zero point eight. Correct. So, A double dash must be equal to zero point two. Yes, sir. So this section, 
let's place the loads and understand you got the values of b double dash and d double dash right yes okay ILD is like this. This is how much? 0 0.8. So let me say this is the section R. So I should place my load such that The, uh, this B dash and A dash should be at R. B dash, B double dash, sorry, B double dash, how much? 0. 0.8, right? Yes, sir. Sorry, talk At the distance, 0. 0.8. And so, what will be this distance? What is this? This is one meter, alwa. Yes. Il point eight hoy tandre. Mikira deshto idhar more than le. Two point two. Two point two is going beyond uh, this thing. Yes or no? Yes. Aga two hundred matra act thala tan poli. Two hundred deshto. Distance in the point at all, not an ordinate in the Why you dash it? E distance in Agatavaga 4 minus point eight, correct? Are you getting my point? This is 4 meters. Yes, sir. 0.8 meters. So, what is y dash? Let's see 0.8 by. 4 must be equal to y dash by 3.2. 8 for the 32 alva. Yes, sir. 64.64 in over at the node. Yes, sir. 0.64. 0.64. 200 into? 0.64. Yenaito? 128. Hmm. Banta. E option is already. Approx Adru is there. Why? ENL. Yes. So, case two will give you maximum bending moment. Okay, now? Yes. 128. Approx value. So, new year do Madabeko case one no case two. But mind you, this is not gate for problem, okay? Because in gate exam, year dead case mark on put for a time mirala. Understood? Yes. I just gave you uh, this for your practice. Any other doubt, my influence? Sir, uh, more than two moments. Ah, come again. Uh, more than two moments. Iga previous one problem ali one day moment itala sariyam. Correct, correct. Ah, uh, heli heli. Apara two at uh, more than one kotre. Okay, okay. One nimsha. No da na problem no da na. Yes. More than one moment is moving. Awa ka yen mar targo ta. Yes. They'll they'll give you a section. More than one load, gay. If you want to draw ILD, they have to give you a section at a distance x or a distance y. A section again, more the kuni wo bending moment can need to go. Itarana, ato atarana, ILD. Adik draw mad bito, that load's moment should be placed here. Acha, the concentrated moment you are asking, right? Yes, sir, concentrated. In that, in that, you have to take the net. Ma. How will you take the net? Because it will keep changing at every section. 
if there are two moments nodi yenga agutte andre one nimsha ಒಂದೇ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಎಂ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಇದು ಎಂ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಆಗ ನಾವು ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಲೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಇಲ್ವ ಎಲ್ ಎವರೆಗೂ ಹಿಂಗಿರ ತಂದ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಜೀರೋ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾರಿ ಜೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಎಂ ಬಂತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇದು ಎಮ್ ಆಡ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಆಡ್ ಆಗತ್ತೋ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೋ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಯು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ಐ ಎಲ್ ಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಮ್ ಇರತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಹಿಂಜ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಎಮ್ ಇರತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಎಮ್ ಇದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲೋ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಅಟ್ ಎ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅದು ಹಿಂಗ್ ಬರತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಎಮ್ ತಿರ್ಗ ಈ ತರ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಈ ಎಮ್ ಈ ಎಮ್ ಆಡ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಎಮ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಆ ತರ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ that's how you have to superimpose no other option so shall we move to solid mechanics yes sir okay good in that we'll uh, learn today what is bending stress or not you have to answer okay so any given problem in ilt you can do it right now yes sir is a deflection of beams can you do it yes sir good in solid mechanics we will learn about today we will learn about bending stress and shear stress okay what is bending stress what is bending stress <coughs> answer what is pure bending you answer that first what do you understand by pure bending pure bending means shear is zero there is no other force apart from bending okay yes what is bending stress then it is the stress developed due to due to flexure 
or bending so if i consider a beam What is this? A simply supported beam having a cross section B. And depth d correct when this simply supported beam is subjected to what udl or any other loading it will undergo bending that this bending what happens if you consider the neutral axis what is neutral axis What is neutral axis, ma? Um, Madhura. Yes, sir. Yeah, Madhura. Yes, Neutral axis is an axis passing through the Centroid of the beam, correct. In which the bending stress is zero. Kedi dira atwa hella imansale. Have you heard of it? Yes. What is neutral axis? Then answer. The axis where bending stress is zero. Yes, any stress, uh, yeah, bending stress is zero. Not any stress, just the bending stress. Why is bending stress zero at neutral axis? Because it's a neutral axis, sir. Alva. Answer Madhura. Huh? Why? Hey, Dima, Bengal. Hey, you can answer. Just think. Okay, let's see. If I consider this top portion, if I consider this top portion, this top portion will be under what? Stress, tension or compression? Compression. Good. This portion will be tension. Correct. Yes. If the stress is, uh, if you are taking tension to be positive, 
compression to be negative, negative because they are opposite, right? If one is positive, the other should be negative. negative. If the tension, yeah, stress is flowing from positive to negative, at some point it should reach zero, correct? Just yes. like your sine curve. If it is positive, if it is reaching negative, then at some point it should be zero. That point is nothing but neutral axis. Ah, adikke zero zero do. Sumne alla. Because the stress is changing from one direction to the other direction. Other direction. Neutral axis. So if you plot the stress strain curve, how will it be? How did it say stress strain curve? Sorry, strain, uh, stress curve. Bending stress curve, when you the first class, you will be Madura. How is the bending stress? It's linear variation, correct? Yes, sir. one side. One side. Yeah. One side it will be positive, the other side will be negative. Negative. Correct? Yes. Sir. Compression. And this will be? Tension. Tension. Good. That is how the bending stress will vary from neutral axis to the top fiber. From here, what do you understand? It is varying from zero to maximum. Correct? Yes, sir. Here also it is varying from zero to maximum. That means this fiber. What is? What do you mean by fiber? Or this element, the top uh, bottommost element will be subjected to maximum tension, and topmost element of the beam will be subjected to maximum compression. compression. The mid element will sub will be subjected to minimum compression and minimum tension. Correct. What is stress? Stress is nothing but force by area. Yes. Since stress is minimum here, the area required will be minimum at the centroid near the neutral axis. That is why the preferred beam section is I section. Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. Have I told you this? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, that is why preferred flexural member is I section. Because all the elements will be utilized to the maximum. Yes or no? We, we need minimum area at the neutral axis. Correct? Yes, sir. And what is the equation for uh, uh, bending stress? We have M by I. You remember bending stress equations? Yes. Uh, tell me that M by I equals E by R equals sigma by Y. You remember this? Yes, sir. Where M is bending moment. If I take I is what? Moment of inertia, sigma is bending stress. And y is the distance of the fiber from the neutral axis, correct? Yes. The distance of the fiber under consideration from the neutral axis. So bending stress sigma will be m into y by i. Or I can write it as M divided by I by Y. I by Y is nothing but Z. 
section modulus yes sir correct you have to remember moment of inertia for standard sections what is that for rectangular section it is bd cube by 12 for circular uh, circular section it is d power 4 by by d power 4 by 64 i guess right you just check rectangular section it is this triangle section you have bd b h cube by 32 or something or is it triangle one second i'll just give you the standard equations so a moment of inertia okay Just a minute. I'll I'll come back. Where do you find moment of inertia for standard sections, ma? Think uh, can you can find in the internet. I'll share just. B D cube by twelve. You remember, right? Yes, sir. Ah, amelar triangle gella ko thilwa. Triangle ma. Triangle ko na fair ba kama? सर्कल नोड़ी नोल जस्ट शेर फै डी पवर फोर बै सिक्सटी फोर करेक्ट है And uh, this thing uh, triangle B H Q by thirty six. Sorry, not thirty two. But did you know this thirty six? Okay, I'll just share this. Sita. Yes. Is standard section the half height code? Come on, you. Okay, na. मैक्सीमेंट Are you following? No, sir. Y is zero at neutral axis, correct? Distance from neutral axis to neutral axis is zero. Yes, sir. As you move upwards or downwards, the y value increases. The y value will be maximum at the extreme fiber. What is the distance of extreme fiber from uh, neutral axis? It is always half of the depth of the section. Yes or no? Yes, sir. That's what I said. So if you substitute that for rectangle section, what is I for rectangle section? B D cube by twelve. Y is maximum at D by two. Correct. If I substitute I by Y, what will happen? I get B D square by six. Correct. 
D square six the <laughs> section modulus we call Z. So m by Z as the section modulus increases, bending stress should decrease. decrease correct. As the bending moment increases, bending stress should increase. increase. That's it. And what is E? What is E by R? What is E? Correct? Yes or no? Yes. Sir. What is R? Radius of curvature. What is radius of curvature? Huh? What is radius of curvature? See, under any loading, this is what center line of beam, right? We, we draw one line. That means that is nothing but center line of line, a uh, beam or neutral axis. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Uh, under the influence of loading, this beam will deflect like this. Correct? Yes, sir. And it will have, if you draw the Radius of this curve, radius of this curve, that is nothing but radius of curvature. Understood? Yes. This curve will be. A curve can you radius press that will be. Radius of curvature. Understood? Yes. <laughs> Oh, you know what is E. So to find bending stress, well, what you have to do, you just need to find out what is bending moment at that section divided by section modulus Z. Correct? For every standard sections, there is section modulus. For rectangle, triangle, I section, for every section, there is standard modulus of section or section modulus. Okay? This sigma is what? Bonding stress. Bending stress. At times, sigma limit is also called. Sigma limit and you know another gota. Or let's not confuse. Let me say sigma max. What is sigma max? Any guess? Bending stress. Huh? Maximum bending stress. Maximum bending stress that the section can carry without breaking or at this uh, stress at which this section breaks. Can I write that? Yes, sir. At which section breaks. That is called a sigma max. In other words, that is also called as modulus of rupture. Modulus of Rupture. Have you heard of this term? Yes. Where? In concrete. Very good. In concrete. Testing concrete, correct? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Sir. How did you do that experiment? How did you do the experiment? The load. Hmm. The load is applied on section in a uh, 
uh, increasing order. Now, how do you subject the uh, this thing? What do you say? Section two loads. Two point load, right? Yes, sir. two point load. Why two point load? Why not one point load? Two point load will be at a distance of L by three, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, why? Why two point load? Why not? Uh, See a single point load. Is there a care of a call one in teachers? Yes, really. What is the same method? What is the new case? Cornilla. If you draw the bending moment diagram for this, how will be the bending moment diagram? It will be like this, correct? Two triangles. But if you draw the shear force diagram, how will it be? The shear force will be? Like this. Zero in the mid span. Then again, you will have a value here. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Is in the mid span, there'll be no, there'll be no what? Shear stress. Correct. In this span, there'll be no shear stress. Only bending. That is why it will be subjected to pure bending. In pure bending, only pure bending tensile and compression test will be there, correct? Tension and compression stress will be there. There will be no shear stress. Okay, the beam has to fail under tension only because it is concrete. Yes or no? Yes, sir. It won't fail due to shear. That is why we subject it to two-point loads to find out its tensile strength, correct? Yes. Mm. FCK or something, right? Target strength. Huh? Target strength. Uh -huh. Hey, no, this thing. FCK tension, you're right, right? Uh, strength of concrete in tension. This is how you find out. Yes or no? You subject it to pure bending so that it will fail under tension stress. Okay. Now, coming to shear stress. Shear stress, what is the equation? Shear stress, the equation is very simple. A, V, A, Y bar by I, B. What is V? V is shear stress. Yes, sorry, shear force. Shear stress you denote by tau, right? Yes, sir. V is shear force. A is area of cross section above the section under consideration, I'll tell you what it is. Section under consideration. You know what is Y bar? 
distance of center of gravity of area above the section under consideration i'll tell you what is section under consideration and what is v width of beam at the section okay clear so let's see what it is suppose this is the cross section of the beam okay and this is the neutral axis and let me say i need the shear stress at section xx okay at a distance h from neutral axis then while using this equation this area see here while using this equation this area small a will be area of the section area of cross section above the section under consideration what is the section under consideration xx correct i want the shear stress at xx so i have to consider this area only okay yes, and if this is b by 2 what is this b b by 2 minus h correct yes sir i have to consider only this area that is what he is saying and what is y bar y bar is nothing but the distance of centroid of the area above the section to the point uh, from this section under consideration this Let's I'll zoom in so that it is clear. From section x x to the distance centroid distance is called as y bar. Clear? We are not we are not concerned about this area. We don't want this area. We want. the area above the section under consideration clear yes sir what if i consider the section here suppose you have to consider this entire area yes or no if i consider section xx to be here then you have to consider this entire area understood yes sir then your height will be this much and width will be the same b and y, y bar will be somewhere here this section will have centroid here and y y will be here this distance understood yes sir okay you know what is width b correct width of the beam at the section since this is a uniform section it don't change much but what if it is a i section let's see what if it is a i section
if it has a high section if this is the width of the flange and this is the width of web very good if i consider a section at this point then b will be equal to small b if i consider the section at this point what will be b capital that's it understood yes sir now let us look at the equation what is the equation say b a y bar i into b what is how will be the shear stress variation i have taught you in the first class it will be maximum at the neutral axis minimum at the fine extreme ah, extreme fibers very good and the variation will be non linear did i tell you this i don't know why it is one second so variation will be non linear yes or no sir okay now what happens to this section let's say this is the neutral axis this is the neutral axis at this point it will be zero it will come like this then it will increase then one second then it will increase like this then it will go like this then it will go. why is it so because it will reduce from this point to this point it will reduce from this point to this point because b will be capital b if you look at the equation a y bar by i b as b increases the stress should decrease correct that is why it will decrease here i'll draw it neatly once again zero at the this thing then it will increase then it will be like this then again it will decrease from here to here okay understood the variation will be like this non uniform yes sir so let's try and solve few problems you remember this the equation that's it m by m by i equals sigma by y equals e by r then shear stress is equal to v a y bar by will you remember this yes If you remember that, that's more than enough.
you try this problem is it visible yes sir okay i'll be back Yes, how will you solve this? So we have to find out the uh, moment and section 1 very good could you find moment this is simple case of your uh, concrete only right yes sir uh, 2016 get paper Sir, moment. Hmm. How do you find moment? You don't have to do anything. See here. It is very simple. It is uniform. This thing, symmetric loading. So the reaction should be eleven point two five only, right? Yes, sir. Ah, eleven point two five into one fifty. This is in kilonewton. So what is he asking? Express in mega pascal. What is pascal? Newton per mm square is Pascal, correct? So you have to convert everything to Newton mm. So eleven point two five into ten power three will give you Newton, correct? One fifty is already in mm. How much? One point six eight seven into ten power six. How much? Uh, one point six eight five. Yeah, six eight seven. I got. Yes. Ten power six. Correct. Yes. Ah, uh, if you have got the moment, bending moment, then modulus of rupture is very simple. M by Z. What is Z for rectangle? How square section or rectangle section same? BD square by 
six, correct? Yes. Uh, you just substitute that, you'll get sigma. B D. B and D he has given right one fifty by one fifty. Yes, Two point Can you do this? Yes. Huh? Yes. What? Yes, sir. I will. Okay. Try.
displacement sorry yeah tell me you are saying something madhura yes sir displacement 5 mm he has given so what do you make of it he is saying there is a cantilever beam yes correct yes which is square in cross section having 0.1 meter each side correct mm. and this deflection is how much he is saying 5 mm 5 mm under what load what point load p correct Yes, the yes. vertical displacement, the beam uh, with the square square is loaded vertically at free end. That means point load at the free end. We know deflection due to point load is. V L Q by. Cantilever. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Okay. From here you have delta. Can you find out P? Yes, I. You have E I also. If you find out P, what is P? This is five mm, right? So Six. you have to convert this into meters because length will be in meter, right? Yes. After getting P, you have to find out bending moment, and then you can do. So what is P? Three e i. What is e i? Two. Ten power. Yeah. Ends modulus means only. E sorry. Good good. Only e. I what? B d cube by twelve. Yes. How much is that? Can I write point one whole power four by twelve? Zero point one whole power four by twelve into how many mm? Five mm, right? Five into ten power minus three. Correct. Yes. Whole divided by L cube, two cube. Do you agree? Three point one two five kilonewton, correct? Is it right? Do you get it, Madhura? Sir, I got uh, one one second, sir. Cross check, please. How much? Sir, I am getting one. Huh? Option B, sir. No, how? 
you have to again do right you you got p as 3.125 No sir, total answer is uh... no ma. Did you did you get the value of force? Mm. Yes sir. How much? Sir, I get it as one two four nine five. No, this is the equation for force, right? Yes sir. Ha. Huh. So you you saw you saw this equation. What you get the value of is. P is the value of force. Once you get the value of force, you get bending moment. Bending moment is nothing but load into length of the beam. Correct. We have what is he asking at the fixed end? Yes, sir. Ah. Huh. Yeh mawa ka six point yeh naagat hai. Six point two five. Ila ma P is six to nim gaye. मीटर हाँ M by Z. Ten per three kilometer meter row. Ten per three mm matter. That Pascal will be cut. Did you? Z day no. Eight point. Point one meter. Hundred day it kola na. Mm will eight kola na direct. Correct. सर जड इज कॉपी Yes. Ega, what are we doing? We are doing solid mechanics, bending moment and shear forces. This we have done while doing a essay, right? Bending moment and shear forces in the statically determined beams. Can't he reverse simply supported? Yes or no? Yes. Simple stress and strain relation, which we'll be doing. Okay, that uh, we have. Uh, it is similar to your this thing. Shear stress in soil. We have seen shear stress in soil, right? Sigma three equals to sigma one minus sigma two divided by two plus. Yes. Do you remember? Yes, sir. That only. But we'll do it again in solid mechanics. Simple bending theory. In simple bending theory only, you get flexural and shear stress. Okay. Yes. Sir. That we have done today. We'll see how to find shear center 
uniform transfer transformation of stress buckling of column combined and direct bending stress okay ಇದು ಆದಷ್ಟು ನಾಳೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬಿಡ ಟುಮಾರೋ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಿ ಎಂ